Hitting a running forehand is a difficult shot for a lot of players because mechanically it's a little bit different from a more traditional forehand. Behind me we've got a shot of my forehand. This is just a normal forehand and what you're going to see is that once I hit and then follow through I continue to rotate my shoulders and then if we freeze it at the completion of my follow through you can see my back. So I've rotated further around than facing the net and I've gotten myself around again so you can see my back but on a running forehand you're not able to rotate like this because you don't have time to set up. Since you're running through the ball your upper body rotation is limited. So if we watch a different clip, this is a running forehand and because I'm running through the ball after contact now I'm facing the net I'm not going to be able to rotate my upper body during my follow through any more than this and that is how the running forehand and the normal forehand differ mechanically. You can't rotate as much on a running forehand because you haven't been able to set your feet. What that means mechanically is that on the running forehand you now have to swing up more as opposed to through it and when you swing up now the racket can decelerate over your head. If you try and swing through a running forehand your arm structure breaks down a lot sooner. So let's take a look again at this running forehand and my swing path is now up across the ball and I decelerate, I follow through over my head, this is the reverse forehand that Nadal hits so often and he hits this forehand a lot because especially on clay he's sliding into the ball, he's on the run and if you watch Nadal when he hits this forehand he never rotates his upper body more than facing the net. When he finishes he hits and then his upper body pretty much stops and he falls through over his head. And Sampras was doing this 10 years ago or so. His forehand was a little bit different, had a more conservative grip, but again he would swing up across the ball as opposed to through it when he was hitting those running forehands.